Tonight, one man's destructive rampage down an Ipswich street. Ten cars wrecked and three people injured. A six-year-old girl found dead in her north side home, her father being questioned on the Gold Coast. A new Chief Justice for Queensland, Tim Carmody's successor to be announced shortly. And the end of a troubled career at the Suns for star Harley Bennell. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Georgina Lewis and Lachlan Kennedy. Good evening. A man is in custody tonight following a demolition rampage for three kilometres down an Ipswich street. He wrecked at least ten vehicles before bystanders made a dramatic citizen's arrest. Three people were taken to hospital after his drive of destruction, but so far no one has a clue why he did it. Here's Lauren Day. It's a terrifying trail of destruction. Police are tonight questioning a man over the mysterious death of a six-year-old girl on Brisbane's north side. He is believed to be her father. The man was admitted to Gold Coast University Hospital after being spotted behaving erratically in the hinterland. Brendan Savage reports. A mother wakes to the soul-destroying discovery every parent fears. Her daughter has... In breaking news, the Premier has just announced who will replace Tim Carmody as Chief Justice. Tegan George joins us from outside the Executive Building. And Tegan, what can you tell us? Well, Georgie, the lucky winner is Justice. It's nearly a year since three-year-old William Tyrrell vanished without a trace and his family is still no closer to knowing what happened. But no one is giving up on the case. Police have released new information about several cars parked near the home where he disappeared. Andrew Denny has the latest. <laughs> Before William Tyrrell was the face of an unspeakable... European countries open their arms and their borders to Syrian refugees. Australia is still undecided just how it will help out. The Abbott government says it will accept a greater number of Syrians, but only within existing quotas. Now, let's go to Adam Todd in Canberra. Adam Labor says it would support an emergency measure to allow in 10,000 refugees. Will the government get on board? Well, Lachlan, so far the government is being... It's exactly two years since the Abbott government took office, but no one's been celebrating. That's just ahead. Also, meet tough little Taco, the pint-sized guard dog who stopped a home invader in his tracks. And Dreamworld's smallest star steps out on the big stage. Welcome back to 10 Eyewitness News. It's been two years since Tony Abbott's government was swept into power, but few people were celebrating today. Claims of leadership instability continue to rattle the coalition as it struggles to win back ground in the polls. Matt Moran reports from Canberra. A sparkly surprise to mark the Abbott government's second birthday, but the message was far from sweet just so cute. I'm glad they got on. Very much so. <laughs> yeah, no, very lucky. <laughs> well, it's time for sport now and Jono, it's business time, isn't it? How good is it? Finals mm. fever's just here, isn't it? Can feel Looking it. Forward to it. Thank you, Lachlan. Thank you, Georgie. Hello, everyone. Coming up now, it's down to eight. Finals fever hits the NRL. And a couple of stars are free to play. Cowboy Lachlan Coote has no case to answer. Or the Roosters are crowing. James Maloney can get off his tripping charge. And what an inning. Shane Watson calls time on his test career. Some people just have all the luck, don't they, those golfers? What a shot. You don't often see squirrels at the tennis, no. though, do you? That's, that's different. In yes. New York? Yeah, thanks, Jono. <laughs> Thank you, Jono. Temperatures are set to soar. Josh has all the weather details next. It's weather time now, and Josh, some warm temperatures are on the way for the southeast. That's exactly spot on the money, Lachlan. Those temperatures are set to soar across southeast Queensland as we get to Tuesday. They will be dropping down, however. Temperatures climb up into the high 20s, around about 2 to 3 degrees above average. On Wednesday, fine and sunny skies as temperatures drop off slightly. Staying fine Thursday, a possible shower to end the working week as we get to Friday afternoon. Well, that's it tonight from Kelvin Grove State College. This is the big band, Preppies. If we had fun tonight on the news... Yeah!
Yes, we have. Good night, George and Lachlan. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, George. That is 10 Eyewitness News for now. We'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned now for Family Feud with Grant Denyer.